Hey guys, Mr. Bankerberg here. This is lesson 2.3. In this video, we're going to focus on using reasoning to form a conjecture. Deductive reasoning uses facts, definitions, properties, and laws of logic to help us form a logical argument. The first law of logic that we're going to talk about is something called the law of detachment. And what the law of detachment says is if the hypothesis of a true conditional statement is true, then the conclusion also has to be true. So we're going to look at the example that says if two segments have the same length, then they are congruent. And it also says that the length of BC is going to be 5 and the length of XY is going to be 5. So we're looking at this statement, and based on this first piece, this hypothesis, it says that these two segments have the same length. Well, BC is 5 and XY is 5. So the conclusion that we can make since this first piece of the statement is true is that our two segments are congruent. So since BC is 5 and XY is 5, the conclusion that we can make is the segment BC is congruent to the segment XY. Those things have the same length, so they have to be congruent. In our second example, it says that Mary goes to the movies every Friday, and today is Friday. So looking at this, we're trying to make some sort of conclusion about this. Well, if Mary goes to the movies every Friday, and today is Friday, the conclusion that we can make is that Mary is going to go to the movies. Our next law of logic is something called the law of syllogism. And this is where we've got multiple conditional statements happening. So we've got the first statement that says, if our hypothesis P, so whatever hypothesis that might be, then the conclusion Q. Well, if we take that conclusion Q and make it a hypothesis in a second statement, then it's going to give us this conclusion R. So if these first two statements end up being true statements, then we can take those first two original statements and put them together as a single statement. And that statement will also be true. So here's the example we've got. It says, if Rick takes chemistry this year, then Jesse will be Rick's lab partner. Our second conditional statement says, if Jesse is Rick's lab partner, then Rick is going to get an A in chemistry. So what we're going to do to take these two separate conditional statements and put them together is we're going to take the hypothesis from the first statement, so if Rick takes chemistry this year, and we're going to grab the conclusion from the second statement, Rick will get an A in chemistry, and we're going to put those things together to make a new conditional statement. And it's going to say, if Rick takes chemistry this year, then Rick will get an A in chemistry. In this example, we're asked to use our law of detachment. So it says, if angle R is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees, then angle R would be obtuse. So what we've got is we know that the measure of angle R is 155 degrees. So we can make a statement using that law of detachment. We know that the measure of angle R is 155 degrees, and if it's between 90 and 180, it's obtuse. Well, 155 degrees fits between 90 and 180, so the conclusion that we can make is that angle R is obtuse. Last example is using our law of syllogism. So the statements we've got say, if Janelle gets a job, then she can afford a car. And our second statement says, if Janelle can afford a car, then she will drive to school. The law of syllogism is where we take these two separate conditional statements and write them together as one singular statement. So I'm going to grab the hypothesis from the first statement and the conclusion from the second statement and combine those things to make one statement. So it would say, if Janelle gets a job, then she will drive to school. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.